right so i want you to look at a, s a set of data uh, or basically two sets of data for uh, an object's velocity and decide which one is actually an example of uniform acceleration and which one is the non uniform acceleration so let's look at the two examples and this and then decide which one is which so we have a column for time which is measured in seconds and another column for velocity which is obviously measured in meters per second and the values are somewhat like this 1 2 3 4 5 and the values of velocities are 20 40 60 80 and 100 another set of, set of data which is quite similar to it looks somewhat like this zero one two three four five and the values of velocities are zero initially then 10 then it increased to 40 then it's 60 then it's 70 and then it's 50 again which one looks like an example of uniform acceleration and which one looks like an example of non-uniform acceleration well what we really need to do in order to understand that is look at what is happening to the speed in each intervals of time you can see that it's increasing by plus 20 in the next time interval in next one second the speed increases by plus 20 again it increases by plus 20 once again and it's the same whereas for the other one you can say it's plus 10 in the first second in the next second the velocity increases by 30 in the very next second it increases by 20 more and then it increases by 10 more and then it actually decreases by 20 and this can help us basically decide which one is uniform and which one is non-uniform so as the uniform velocity uh, the name is quite self-explanatory so with uniform you actually say uniform acceleration is defined as when the rate of change of velocity when the rate of change of velocity is constant for every interval of time and where is that happening well you can see that the rate of change is constant the velocity changed in one second it always remains 20 all the time in this first table so this one is actually the example of uniform acceleration and it's the other one where it's not constant so that is actually the example of non-uniform acceleration and how would we define non-uniform acceleration well we'll say the definition will be pretty much opposite to what the definition for uniform is it will be at when an object undergoes the change of velocity which is different the change of velocity is different for each interval or you can say each unit of time now what does the unit actually mean here it could mean a number of things it could be an hour it could be a minute or it could be second but mostly since the SI unit of time is seconds we can say 
each second of time each second the velocity changes by a different amount first it changes by 10 and then it changes by 30 and then it changes by 20 then it increases by 10 and then it decreases by 10 so the acceleration is different for every single interval of time given in the table so this one the second table is an example of non-uniform acceleration